Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Angel. Good night, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Okay, let me see how many, 10, I got 10. Okay, welcome. I hope that all of you feel uh, really good today in order that we can start our class. Welcome, Natalie. Thank you, T-shirt. 
Glad to see you again. People do I have now? I got 12, only 12. Okay, we are still waiting uh, for the rest of the class. During this minute, you can ask some question if you have any doubt about something. Yes, uh, let me know. Si hay alguna duda referente a algo, porque aprovechan estos minutos, you can uh, ask. My Victoria is there, Maya is there too, Rosalie, Ingrid, uh, Anton, Evelyn, Katia, Erika is there too, Andres, Esmeralda, and Ismael. Okay. Well, so as I told you yesterday, we are uh, so close to finish the third module. Only one day and one week left in order to finish six days. And well, I hope that you have learned something new that helped you in this process. In every module that you are going to attend, you are going to learn um, different vocabulary, different structure. For that reason, I invite you to continue attending English classes. I'm pretty sure that it's going to help you a lot to reach your goal.
Okay, let me just cut the attendance. Now. What about the sons? Uh, have you practiced one of one of them? Have you learned something new or not? Just tell me. What kind of music do you like? Natalie, what about you? What kind of music do you use to live? Tell me. The pip t-shirt. Wow. Really? Well. Okay. Sometimes it's really difficult to understand exactly what he's saying. Because he is speaking a fast way. But it's very nice. What about you, Erika? Erika, what kind of music do you like? Hola. What kind of music do you listen? Kind of music. Kind of music. Tell me the kind of music that you prefer. La clase de música que prefiere que le gusta. Um, romantic. Romantic music? Sí. Yes. Okay, give me a, uh, the, a name of a song. Um, Laura Pausin. <laughs> uh, his dad is a singer. Uh, a special song for, for Laura Pausin? Alguna canción específica uh, Laura Pausin? Amor es extraño. <laughs> Um, I love you. Eh, extraño, algo así creo que se llama. Aquí lo pongo en inglés. Too. Okay, what about you, Katia? Do you listen to music? What kind of music do you prefer? Yes, I like um, K-pop music and pop music. Pop music? Yes. Okay. Only in Spanish or also in English? De las dos. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. them. What about you, Evelyn? Tell me. Um, desde que puso la canción de Chicago, Artu soy. Oh, to say I'm sorry, me encantó, entonces solo eso estoy escuchando para aprendérmela. Okay. Muy bonita, muy bonita, la verdad ya la había escuchado anteriormente, pero ¡ay, qué bonita! Ajá, me gustó mucho. Son viejitas, pero buenas. Ya va, ya va. Si ustedes ven los mensajes de esa época, sumamente diferentes. Todo era una inspiración. Eh, manteniendo el respeto a todo y hoy el que más grita es el, el más famoso <risa> tremendo la, la situación pero como así es para los gustos hicieron los colores y los sabores ah, bueno. hay, hay personas que por ejemplo a, a mí en lo personal no me gusta eh, Esa música, por ejemplo, de Bad Bunny. Ah, no, pero eso no, ni a mí tampoco. Primero por lo, por no, lo, pero... primero lo, por la letra de sus canciones. Y sí, segundo, sí. Que... sí. Ah, igual. Sí. A mí no, no soy tan fan de esa música de ahora, pero sí me gustan las canciones, me gusta la salsa. Salsa Mucho music. también. Okay, salsa music. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course, but but we need to select. In my case, I don't like reggaeton. Nah. 
na nang daras ng LED. Sí. Los días domingo en la casa, salsa. <laughs> oh. Salsa? Sí. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the problem that we have here in El Salvador is uh, we can go to a concert, but sometimes it's uh, really crowded. Aquí cuando viene un salsero solo viene uno. Eh, en Colombia se presentan siete, diez salseros de los mejores. Y no es caro. Mm, okay. Okay. A mí me gustan las de Gilberto Santa Rosa y Maelo Ruiz. Son okay. mis favoritas. Okay. Sí, muy buenos. Sí. Nada en inglés, all in Spanish. <laughs> okay, that is the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm just asking you. What about you, Ana Victoria? Tell me. I like the Trova, <laughs> Silvio Rodríguez, Pablo Vidanes, and Romantic Music, and Laura Brennigan, Brennigan, this is one of Music of the name is self control. We are going to talk with the rest later on. Let me show you my class for today. And I need to check up also uh, the attendance of the trial. This is the topic for today, but before I need to check up the attendance, how to use preposition of time. We are going to talk about preposition. Okay, but let me call you. Anna Victoria, are you there? Yes, I am here. Okay. Um, Angel Giovanni. Present teacher. Eh, hoy voy a llegar algo tarde a la casa. No sé si me voy a cansar a, a quitar el listo. Okay, okay. Porque estoy lejos de la casa todavía. So far away from your house. Okay. So far away. Casi no le escucho porque estoy eh, con bastante bulla. Perdón. Oh. Solo, pero voy a estar siempre oyente porque voy pendiente con audífonos. Okay, thank you. Brenda, Natalie. Presentation. Okay. Eh, Carlos Eliazar. Diana Yamilet. Present teacher. Erika. Present teacher. Okay, so two. Um, Evelyn Karina. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Smile Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Alejandro. Alejandro, Alejandro. Eh, Julia Janet. Here. Maybe driving. Uh, Katia. Present teacher. Yes, there. Luis Armando. Luis. Marvin Alexander. Marvin. No. Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Michael. Michael. It's not here, Michael. Rosalie. Present teacher. Okay, Rosalie. Uh, Sandra Ivet. Sandra Ivet. Teacher, ella puso que iba camino a casa. Ah, oh, okay. But at least uh, I need to hear 
to say hello here, teacher. Sonia. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, let us start talking about the make a review and then we are going to okay type for review. I need that at least uh five of you tell me something that you remember about the previous class. Okay, I'm going to start my perceived basis. Okay, who wants to tell me something about the previous class? What do you learn? Yes. No se le escucha, teacher. Okay, what about now? Better? Okay, yes, ahora sí. Okay. What I, what I was telling you is that you can take a look at your notebook in order to remember what we studied yesterday. Teacher, en, en el uso de time, different forms del uso del time, de qué hora es. Okay. What time do you usually go? your job. Repeat again, please, teacher. What time do you usually go to your work? Mm. Um, what time? Okay, what else mm -hmm. do you usually go? A que hora usualmente se va? I am go to work usually um uh six o'clock um a.m. Okay, ahí vamos a usar un verbo que va a decir I leave my house. I leave my I house. leave my house. Okay. At 6 a.m. Okay. I, I leave my house. Okay. What time do you arrive to your job? Okay. What time do you arrive? Um, um, arrive, um, usually, um, for. Four o'clock or for I have for theory. Okay, again, if you leave uh, your house at six o'clock in the morning, how many time do you spend in order to arrive to your job? ¿Cuánto tiempo gasta para llegar a llegar a su trabajo? Um, um, 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yes. Okay, that means that you arrive at your job at 6.30 a.m. 
Yes. Okay, and even I told you to create uh, your own uh, agenda yesterday. Ah, I remember that. Okay, nice. and you are going to read it for to me. Por ahí les dije que agarraran ejemplo y que crearan su agenda. De su agenda. Yes. Okay, who, want, who wants to share with me all those activities? If you want, uh, you can uh, share the screen too. Si alguien lo hizo digital, puede, le voy a digitar para que me comparta pantalla. Bien. Ahí está. And you can explain. Okay. Tell me. Somebody else. Somebody else. Okay, who wants to do it? Quien desea hacerlo? Just read it. All the activities that you have there, you can do it. Leanme todas las actividades, incluyendo la hora at. Diga at 7 a.m. ¿Qué me dice que es lo que hace? Okay, I need to see someone with the hand up, with the hand up. Only one, only one. Maybe I'm going to show you uh, in the material the agenda in order that you can remember. Of course, I told you. I told you to write down all the activities. Hello, come in. What I want you to share with me is something like this. Let me show you. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to... What's going on here? Okay, I got there. I'm sorry, I, I have a little problem with my connection, maybe. Se me había frisado, ahí estaba preocupado. Okay, you have it there. I, what I need is something like this. Yo lo que necesito es algo como esto. Uh, con su agenda y sus actividades. That you can describe in this way or maybe in a different one. But I told you yesterday. I don't know. Okay, okay, I got two hands. Okay, I'm going to stop chatting. Okay, let me know, Rosalie. 
and then uh, Jose Alejandro. Um, creo que más o menos es así. Um, at the half at 7 a.m. I start my work day. Um, around 15 to 8, I don't learn the business system finish budget. At nine o'clock, I review documents. At midnight, midnight, I usually have lunch. At five, no, quarter, quarter past five, I leave to work. ¿Cómo usted escucha lo que dice, teacher? Ok, thank you very much. Uh, don José Alejandro. Quizás se le activó el, el micrófono. Okay, don Alejandro, don Alejandro, ¿está por ahí? ¿Me está oyendo o no? Adelante, adelante, don Alejandro, no ha encendido su micrófono, no le estoy oyendo. No, revise por favor, son variados, si alguien más puede hacerlo. Bueno, que le el micrófono, no, 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 bien. Eh, ¿Me puede escuchar? ¿Puede escucharme ahorita? Yes, no. right now. Oh, okay. Yes, right now. Ok. Eh... ¿Empiezo de donde, desde el principio o de donde me quedé? No, at the beginning, please. Ah, begin, ok. Sí, Hals, uh, we are meeting for a sickness in the homework and the every day. A 13th, we taste a very fat. A 10 13th. We are the understand. Uh, we are meeting for the understand how is the homework uh, every day is the hour. And 12 halls to lead a lunch. And 30 p.m. We are the meeting for the look of the With the goals of the every every day and five uh, p.m. close the factory. Okay, thank you. Uh, no sé si lo lo hice bien. O eso se lo describo lo que lo que hacemos en todo el día en mi trabajo. Y hasta okay, la hora thanks. que salimos. Thank you. Okay, somebody else wants to share uh, the activity, but at the same time, what I need is uh, to listen the time that you perform every activity.
Okay, let us continue then. I'm going to show my uh, presentation. Let me do it well with the uh, okay. Uh, let us start talking about preposition of time. In this case, we are going to study only as add in and on three different preposition. We call it preposition. Uh, it's a word which is used before a noun or a noun phrase or a pronoun connecting another word. La preposición es una palabra uh, la cual se usa antes de un nombre de una frase o de un pronombre conectándolo a otras palabras. Por eso se llama preposition. Preposition. Okay, take a look at this. Preposition of time at. When we are going to use it? Cuando vamos a usarla? Okay, number one, at a specific time. For example, at five o'clock, at half past three. I had two examples. A specific time at five o'clock, at half past three. Another use is at a period of time. In a period of tiempo, for example, at noon, at night, at midnight, at the weekend. And also, uh, I can use it at a festival. También lo puedo usar en, eh, para un festival. Por ejemplo, digo, at Christmas, Met Autumn Festival, Easter. Ahí tengo tres usos de at. But the, the most important one is a, a specific time or a period of time. I'm going to use at. But I guess uh, before to pass to this one, uh, let, let me give you more example over there with this. Before we can uh, move forward, uh, it's better if we talk about at first. When it said that we are going to use it in a, a specific time, will you give me some example? We're using this preposition. Okay, let me try to use the material. For example, I leave off my house at six o'clock. Okay. My meeting is at 3 p.m. Okay. 11 noon, I make lunch. No. Where, where is the preposition? Uh, no. Okay, remember the preposition is at. La preposición en este momento que estamos usando es at.
I'm going to show you again. Voy a mostrarles una vez más. Okay, we have it here, preposition of time, at. As I told you before, we are going to use it as a specific time. For example, at five o'clock. Aquí tengo la preposición, es at five o'clock, a las cinco en punto. ¿Qué va a suceder? I need to create uh, the sentence. Or somebody could say at half past three. O a las tres y treinta, que es lo que sucede ahí. Enfoquémonos primero en el uso de, de, de esa manera. And try to give me some example using at. I go to room at night. Well, could be because uh, lo único que ella sería la parte dos en un periodo de tiempo. En cambio, la de arriba me quiero centrar en tiempo específico. I start, I start work, work day at eight o'clock. Okay, you can say I start working at seven o'clock, for example. In my case, I, I said that. But I need more examples that you tell me. Mm, at half past 12, I take my lunch. Okay. Maria? Teacher. Hello? Yo tengo una duda en, en at the weekend. Este, sí he escuchado como en algunas oraciones en in the weekend, pero no sé, estoy como intentando formular alguna oración donde sea at the weekend. Ok, I'll try to do it. I need more example. Um. She wake wake up uh, at twenty five to no twenty five past five. No. Okay. Could be yes. Okay, remember, the number one set that we are going to use at an, an a specific time. When the time is specific, for example, if you say to somebody, I hope to see you at uh, 
Ken of Love in the Restaurant. Espero verte a las 10 en punto en el restaurante. You are talking about a specific time. And also you can use it uh, at a period of time. See you at, uh, at noon, for example. Or maybe you can uh, use a, a festival. At Christmas, I love cooking because all my family visit me and blah, 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 blah. Okay, but if you want, let me see the next one. Okay, take a look at this preposition of time, in. Okay, when we are going to use in, in, in a specific months. Okay. Lo voy a usar en un mes específico, por ejemplo, dice in January, in March. Okay, could you give me another example? Podrían darme otros ejemplos uh, usando in en con un mes. Pero una oración completa, por favor. My birthday is in July. Okay, my birthday is in July. Okay, so I go. Okay. It's pretty easy. What you are going to do uh, is just to use in with different uh, months of the year. Usted puede crear una oración con cualquier mes del año usando eh, in previamente. Algo maybe that you are going to do. Okay, Tom. Christmas sure. is in December. Repeat again, please. Christmas is in December. Okay. I start diet in January. Okay. Valentine dies February. Pero ahí nos hizo falta. Bueno, no le oí la preposición. San Valentine in February. Valentine Day is celebrated in February 14. February. Okay, let me see. Okay, let us see the second use. We can use in also in a season, in una estación, in a spring, in summer, in autumn, and fall. But what I want is that you be able to be a sentence as using this aspect. In summer, in, no, in summer it is very hot. Okay, in summer, the weather is very hot. Okay. Another example. My boss travel in summer. Okay. And also in we can use it in uh in a period of time. 
in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay, ahí está más claro, más fácil. Okay, I need that you create a sentence using one of these expressions. It's up to you if you do it using in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening. But I need that you produce the sentence. Let me see, let me see. I'm going to stop doing this because I see your faces. Okay. For example, in, in, in the third use, we are going to use it with months of the year. El primer uso de in es con los meses del año. Dejamos, tratemos de hacer una oración usando in y luego el mes. Una oración completa. Hola, hola. Are you there? Are you there? My birthday is in January, teacher. Okay, my birthday is in January. Mm. Well, maybe, um, Maybe I'm going to show you something else. Well, try to keep in mind in a specific months and also in a season. And then number three, say in a period of time. That is the use of in when we talk about time. Cuando hablamos de tiempo, uh, digamos que in tiene tres usos. Trate de mantener su mente. The first one in a specific months. The second one in a season and the third one in a period of time. Okay, why? Because, uh, let me see here. Okay, take a look at on, the preposition time on. When we are going to use it on a specific day. Se recuerdan que ya vimos uno que vamos a usar en, en los meses. ¿Cuál es? And now this one. On, uh, we are going to use it on a specific date. And the second one is on a date. Que es diferente. Es decir, on lo voy a usar para días específicos o para fechas. Cuando son días, uh, on, on Sunday, on, on Sunday morning, on Christmas Eve or New Year's Day. And when we talk about date, I said on 2nd May, on the 20th of June, I will also on. Preguntas. Me regreso, me regreso. Chao. Okay, hagamos un recuento. On, I'm going to use it uh, on a specific day and uh, a specific date. Okay, in, in a specific months, season and period of time. Try to keep in mind. Um, I am going to repeat it. In a specific months, in a season or in a period of time time and at I'm going to use it at a, a specific time at a period of time and a festival. If you keep this in mind you are going to answer the following exercise. Okay. Okay, hold on.
Okay, and this one is the last one. Okay, let us work in, in the exercise. Try to use in, on, and out according to what you understand. Trate de usar cualquiera de los tres y luego vamos a comparar. Okay. Take on a screenshot, please. And try to resolve it now. Okay, it's done. Is it a captura? Yes? Yes, teacher, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, vean, vean, si, si podemos resolver. I'm going to show you again. See, I can put a cell at the foot up. Okay, you have it there. As soon as you finish, let me know. Tan pronto finaliza me avisa, por favor. Sí. Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish the chair.
Phoenix teacher. Phoenix teacher. Okay, I'm going to give you now a uh, two minute timer that you can finish. Okay, I'm still waiting.
Okay, let us compare. Uh, Okay, this is the exercise. Somebody wants to read the first part. Alguien lee la primera parte, por favor. Donde está el espacio. Katia. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Me fui por las manos que le arriba. Sam went to China. In November, hasta ahí. Okay. In, you say in. Uh -huh. Sam went to China in November. Okay, alguien la tiene diferente. Somebody had in a different way. No. No, teacher. No, okay. In. Okay, in, okay. The, the second one. Rosalie, the second one. And come back at treatment. Okay, and came back at treatment, you say. He arrived in China. Okay, next. He arrived in China. The 30th of November. Tell me the missing word. What is the word? On? Um, on? On? Yes. On? On the 30th of November. Okay, you say on. Okay, later on I'm going to share the on front. But first of all, we need to know exactly what you are thinking about. Okay, the next part is the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay, he stayed with Uncle Joe. The 23rd of December. On the 23rd of December. Okay, and the last one? At night. At night. At night. Okay, let us see. Okay, you are going to evaluate yourself. Is this a variable of solar? I have five gaps. Tengo cinco, seis espacios acá. Cuente de esos seis cuantos tiene el uno. Sí. Okay. Okay, you are there. Compare, compare, compare. Okay, now I need uh, some volunteer who wants to read the paragraph. Algunos que quieran leer el párrafo. Okay, yeah. Sang went to China in November and coming back that Christmas. He arrived in China on the 13th of November in, in the afternoon. He signed with Uncle Joy on the 23rd of December at night. Okay, thank you. Sun went to China in November. 
and came back at Christmas. Came back. He arrived in China on the third. 30th of November, in the afternoon, he stayed with Uncle Joe on the 23rd of December at night. Okay, somebody I want to read it? Somebody want to read it? No? Okay, Rosalia, ahí está su momento, sí. Que participe ella porque creo que ella no ha participado. Ah, ok. Thank you. Ok, continúe. Hello. Ana. Ana. Oh, perdón. Okay, Pensé que iba a leer ella. Ok, go ahead, go ahead. Sa went to China in November and come back at Christmas. He arrived in China on the 30th of November in the afternoon. He stayed with Uncle John on the 23rd of December at night. Okay, thank you. Okay, what about this is the second exercise. Okay, try to fill all the gap with uh, in, on, and out. Indy usually swim okay, with okay. her family on Sunday. Okay, hold on, hold on a second, please. Ya vamos a comparar. Dejemos que, que cada uno responda para luego ver si, si, si pegó a mi pegó. En el cuarto. Antes. Don't forget to take the, the screenshot to learn that you can have it there.
finished. Okay. Okay, let, let us compare now. This is exercise number two. Cindy usually swim with her family. Cindy, actualmente nada con su familia. In, at, on, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Only one, only one. What about the rest? On. Um. Okay, on, on Sunday. They go swimming eight o'clock. At, at, at. Okay, the morning. In the morning. At. Okay, every, every year she has a long holiday. In. in. Okay, so she likes swimming with her brother. At in at. Ah, uh, if the number of friends, some some of you say at, and some of you say in. At the afternoon. Será at the afternoon or será in? At the afternoon. At. In the summer holiday, it is fun. Okay, let us see. In. Okay, Teacher, ¿podría poner el cuadrito nuevamente de las preposiciones, por yes, favor? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm doing something here. Okay, hold up. Ya se los muestro. Permítame un segundo. But I need to show you first the answer. Necesito primero mostrar la respuesta. Okay, you got it there.
Okay, I'm going to read it. Says Cindy usually swim with her family on Sundays. They go swimming at eight o'clock in the morning. Every year she has a long holiday in summer. She likes swimming with her brother in the afternoon. In the afternoon in the summer holiday. It is fun. Okay. El cuadro que quiere ver es el primero. Just tell me. Yes, yes. El de las preposiciones. In, on. Okay, okay, okay. Let me go back. Por eso es aquí, Adam, es que me llamo. Uh, Ahí está la primera. No, era, no, 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 no. Era el, el, un, verde, un verde que aparecía ahí, que lo puso así y lo quitó rapidito. Un verde, un recuadro. Creo que, creo que ah. ella eh, quiere eh, lo que significa en las preposiciones. Ok, hold on. Maybe this one. ¿Es este? Yes, yes, este. Exacto. Así. Okay, okay say preposition of time, at, in, and on. And also we have the concept. Ahí tenemos el concepto de lo que es una preposition. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Welcome. But also, I need to the, you read the second exercise. Necesito que me lean el ejercicio dos. Okay, this one. Okay, who wants to read it? Rosalie, go ahead. Cindy usually swims with her family on Sundays. They go swim, swimming at eight o'clock in the morning. Every year, she has a long holiday in summer. She likes swim, swimming with her brother in the afternoon in the summer holiday. It's, it is fun. Okay, thank you. One more, please. Eh, Cindy usually sweet with her family on Sundays. They go uh, swimming at eight o'clock in the morning every year. She has a long holiday in summer. She likes uh, swimming with her brother in the afternoon, in the summer holiday, it is fun. Okay, I'm going to read, Cindy usually swim, swim with her family on Sundays. They go swimming at eight o'clock in the morning. Every year, she has a long holiday in summer. She likes swimming with her brother in the afternoon, in the summer holiday. And the last slide that I have is this. Okay, I got some tips. Uh, to, to refer to a date, use the preposition on before the date. Example, my birthday is on uh, 1st January. To refer to a month, use the preposition in before a month. 
Sample marriage therapy is in December. I used to have a more with the most municipalities. Okay, then that in Quinto. Okay, that then switch a little bit. I'm going to send it down to you. Okay. Okay, then we have a name. And we are going to work in this activity. Okay, I'm going to give you enough time in order that you work in, in trios. Okay, you are going to ask the classmate about their schedule. Activities and uh, specifying time and date. For example, here you are going to put the name, activities, and date and time. You are going to do this, okay? And you need to do it in three different, uh, with three different people. Si quieren hacer una factura, para que cuando ya estemos en el en el breakout room. Solo que va a tomar el esquema para ir en ¿Está? ¿Ya lo hizo? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, now let me see that that fits in. Okay, let me see how many people we have in each group. Okay, try to uh, fill it up. Let me see what I'm going to do. Okay. Here we go. Try to accept the invitation first. Yeah, no, and Ms. Meralda, what, what happened? No aceptar la invitación.
Okay, try to keep uh, the information with you before we are going to use it later. Mantenga la información ahí. Okay, and remember you need to put name, the activities and the date and the time that they are going to perform. Okay, let me see. I'm going to choose someone in order to be sure. Marvin, will you share your information, please? Okay, teacher, and the, well, nosotros, the Ana, okay. uh, the activities, and uh, the pilot trick beer contest mm -hmm. at seven o'clock. Um, Ismael review the plan. Planos, teacher, how do you say in English, planos? Planos? Aha. Uh -huh. Like a... Uh, Revista planos, no digo. Drawing like, like, like the, the one that have uh, the architect? Yo creo que sí, planos, me dijo Imael. Planos. Eso no le pregunté. Planos arquitectónicos. Yes, I, I, I review uh, some planes of the construction. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, eso. Thank you, Ismael. And Diana, the quality control at 10 o'clock. Only that picture. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, let me see. Smeralda. Hello, uh, sería Natalie tomorrow. Launch uh, the baby, cook all week, uh, y sería hacer limpieza. You mean the area? Okay, I guess it's gonna be better, if, for example, in the first one you put the name and then clean the, the office, for example. Answer the phone uh, or maybe check the email. And another activity could be um, write reports and you are going to put the date and the time. That is what I want. Si las actividades, por ejemplo, son limpiar la oficina, que fecha, que horas. Okay. Eh, revisar email, que fecha, que horas. Escribir reportes, cuándo y qué hora. That is the information that I need. Because you are going to use it later on. Ok, let me move forward because of the time. Okay, in activity three. You are going to uh, ask uh, this three question. When is your next uh, meeting? I hope that you include it in the information that you have there. What time do you arrive to work? Yeah, again, just do you arrive to work. But in this case, you can ask this question and number three say, when are you? are your next location and you can use a specific date and, and time to uh, let me see I got the moment of 
Okay, why here is missing uh, uh, letter E? But if I ask you, for example, Maida, when is your next meeting? When is your next meeting? At um, 11 um, o'clock. Ok, pero para dar una respuesta completa, ahí tendría que, uh -huh. tendría que decir, it is... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, it is at um, 11 o'clock. Oh, what about the date? And date. Tengo que mencionar el día, ah, la fecha, okay. la hora. Ok, ok. Uh, it is um, Friday, Friday at 11 o'clock. But before Friday, what, uh, which preposition did you use? And the sound of the preposition so. Or somebody else can be them. Okay. Hello. When is your next meeting? My next meeting is. Uh -huh. You can mention the, the months. If you are going to mention the months, si va a mencionar nombre, día, qué preposiciones son las que van con ellas. A eso me refiero, eso es lo que quiero. Okay, what about the second one? What time do you arrive to work? What time do you arrive to work? I arrive around six o'clock or half past six. Okay. And the number three, when are your next vacation? When? Teacher, no sé si estoy equivocada, pero sería. It is on January 16, 2023. Because okay, you are talking about a specific uh, time. And July 16, 2023. Okay. If you are going to use months, uh, which preposition are you going to use? In April, in April, the next vacation in April. Okay, let me choose something that we can clarify how you are going to use. Okay, I already mentioned how you are going to use on in and at and try to keep in mind. Uh, in the previous slides, I show you in a specific way how we can use it. For example, here, if you are going to talk about uh, on a specific days, you say on Saturday or on the center, because we are talking about day and you are talking about date. Que no es lo mismo, day and date, día o fecha. 
que serían estos dos. O, por ejemplo, somebody said on Monday, February 5th. Or on Wednesday morning. And when I use in, I'm going to use it uh, with month and also years and some season. Tengo acá tres cosas. For example, in May in 2018, in the summer or in the morning. Aquí tengo tres categorías, con un mes, con un año o una estación. Y la última, cuando son eh, horas específicas. At, uh, two thirty, at noon, at night, at midnight. No sé si este cuadrito le califica mejor. Este cuadrito, uh, you can find it... Uh, on page number 35. Yeah, you can find it there, on page 35. En la página 35 está este cuadro, que nos puede ayudar a aclarar muy fácil. 36. 36. Excuse me? 36. 36. Yeah, 36. Yeah, 36 is that right. Okay, let us see if you if you got the info. Okay, let us we saw X is a number five. I'm going to do it. Okay, uh say complete the email using the preposition of time, compare answer with the class name. Okay, we have the info uh from Party 2018 at email.com to Mary, that is to uh, at email.com. Subject, new product presentation. Es el, como el punto principal. La presentación del nuevo producto. And say hello, Fatima. Are you busy? Monday afternoon. Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There's a presentation about, about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts 6.30, I work until uh, 5.45, but I can meet you six on the corner of uh, First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There's another presentation that it will be March, Sunday, and I can that day. Okay, try to resolve. Para tirar resolver el tipo. Finish teacher. Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish. Okay. Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Including all the, the missing information. Alguien lo lee, por favor, ya incluyendo la información que hace falta. O esperamos un poquito que los demás terminen. Empieza desde los. Desde la información de arriba hasta los email, teacher. Yes, you need to fill all the all the gaps. Okay. 
Okay, in this exercise, what we are going to do is just to use preposition of time, the one that we have studied, add in on. So let's just try to make sure that. Okay, who wants to read it? Alguien quiere leerlo? Yes. Voy a intentar, teacher. Uh, hello, Fatima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product product that the company launches? There, there's a pre presentation about it in and it sounds very interesting. It start at six thirty. I work until five um fifteen fifteen to five. No fifteen to six. Okay. <laughs> but but I can meet you at six o'clock. On the corner of Fifth Avenue and Main Street. What do you what do you what do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday and can that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Okay, nice. We have it here. What do you pronunciation? Interesting. 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 Until five fourteen five. A quarter to six. A quarter to six. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to read. I'm going to read it for you. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There's a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6 30. I work until a quarter to six, but I can meet you at six on the corner of Earth First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday. And I can that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Okay. If you have it this way, it is fine. Ahí está bien claro. Si lo tienen así, congratulations. If not, try to compare. Si no lo tiene así, compare y vea la razón por la cual no, no le quedó igual. Yes, sí, sí. Ok. Ok, let me see. I guess time is over. Start here. Any question? ¿Alguna preguntita? No, teacher. Okay. Um, on page number 36, as a whole, we'll try to resolve exercise number six that said using the information for an exercise two. Page number 35, uh, write this. What some of the activities that you fascinate have to do, specifying time and date? And use and to connect your ideas. For the information que sacó a sus compañeros, que usted puede escribir algunas actividades que ellos uh, tienen que hacer especificando la hora y la fecha y usando la preposición en para conectar sus ideas. 
Okay, thank you. Let me see here. Okay, let me see that we can Por ahí creo que les voy a compartir algunas eh, presentaciones o videos al, al grupo de WhatsApp. Los voy a ir haciendo. Okay, uh, Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Andres Leonardo. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Angel Giovanni. Present teacher. Brenda. Present teacher. Carlos, Carlos is in here. Okay, let me write down something here. Diana. Present teacher. Okay, Diana is there. Um, Erica. Present teacher. Erica. Uh, Evelyn. Present teacher. Ingrid. Present teacher. Ismael Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Jose Alejandro. Uh, present teacher. Julia Yanet. Present teacher. Um, Katia Maria. Present teacher. Luis Armando Girón. Okay. Uh, Arvin Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Mayra. Present teacher. Michael. Rosalie. Present teacher. Sandra. Sandra. No. Teacher, eh, ya no se puedo conectar este día por cuestiones de trabajo. Este y lo colocó ahí en el grupo también. I'm going to put that. One second, please.
Ok, ya le dejamos el comentario ahí. Ok, I don't know if you have any questions. Uh, la tutoría para el día de hoy le corresponde a Luis Armando. I don't, I don't see it. ¿Cómo anda? Amén. Teacher no me mencionó. Ok, con que me citan. Ah, se quedó con Sandra. Eh, Sonia es mi nombre. Bye. Bye. Sí, por estar escribiendo el comentario, Sandra. ¿Qué pasó? Wow, vamos a ir revisado. Ok, por ahí les voy a enviar a algunos ejercicios referentes al uso de estas preposiciones. Háganlas en su tiempo libre para que se quede más claro, por favor. Y si hay alguna duda, la resolvemos ah, en el review del día de mañana. Ok. Ok, okay. understand. Thank you. Bye. I really and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Bye. See you.